Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you a small demo of using a power designer to create a model. I have just created a very simple three tables. One is the customer and the product and the orders. Uh, order is placed by the customer and uh, it may contain, the orders may contain number of products. So you can see the relationship is here. Customer places the order and the order contains the product. That's very simple, isn't it? But my idea here is not to actually give you a detailed description of the modeling concept, but more about uh, how the power is how to use a power designer to create a database in the SQL Server. And I'm just going to show you. Here is the relationships. If you can see here, after I've created the model, you can see that the relationship between entity one and entity two customer places order order placed by the customer and you can see it's a very simple thing because simple things are very gives you a good idea about explaining the things so here is the identifier and you can see the attributes attributes are actually columns in your tables and this is the identifier identifier is the primary key and you can see again the attribute here and customer ID and the uh, order ID as you can see it here uh, looking at the orders so this is the order table so we are looking at here and let's go a little bit further and you can see the domain and I would have defined a domain I have defined many of the things in the domain as you can see here and there are a lot of things and if you see the tables they contain the domain the data type from the domain as I have defined it here and you can see it here and you can see it here do not get confused this is not a dimensional modeling so this is the dimension is the data type defined here and you can see here from here here to here it has to be getting referenced and now that I have a diagram one and a logical this is the logical model so I am going to just go to the tools and I am going to generate the physical model and once it uh, I ask for the physical model I can select the physical model and I am going to select the SQL Server 2008 because that is what is the target database is so just I am going to select this time SQL Server 2008 Microsoft and once you have selected that thing then that being done uh, I can say the name is a physical model physical model physical and I can rename it because actually I had a problem I pressed enter so I can say physical model and I can say demo because I'm just going to create a database that is demo and you can see here in the physical model you can see that everything has changed isn't it this is the let's rename this thing as a, okay so let's let's go to this right pipe right now and just look at this thing as you can see in the physical model the things changes you do not see the similarity like the crow feet coming up and you can see more like the arrows and places or everything is the same and you can see that the domain actually has been get got replaced by the data type here so this is a perfect modeling tool, one of the perfect modeling tool, database design or power base designer, as you can see. And now I'm going to generate the database because I have the model. So I can say generate and it is saying selection options. And there, these are the options I can select from physical options, as you can see all the things I want to create I can select it here 
for your primary key and I'll just leave the everything to the default and the database also here as you can see and the format and the prefix and everything you can create it here on a prefix and because there are only three tables that is here and the physical model contains them and this okay run it and run it and just ignore it because it's saying it doesn't exist okay the file name create alter database file option name is required okay just about it okay so now we are going to generate the database from here to the SQL server and I can show you this is going to work because I have created perfectly now so this should not be a problem as you can see the script is there and it says the drop the database this is going to create a problem but doesn't matter because I can say ignore and run it otherwise okay the I can say database and I can say do not drop the database and you can see the preview and it can go on like that and it changes so the option to drop the database creates all the things cleared and I can say ok and once I can say ok do you want to save the changes? yes cannot open ok no problems so I can say connect and I can say I have to just go and see up and I can say run and it says cannot drop the database because the database doesn't exist so I say ignore and as you can see the other SQL has run perfectly well you can I could have also save this SQL and run it from directly but actually I just wanted to run it directly from here from the power designer and you can see it has run here and I can go to the SQL server and as you can see there the database doesn't exist so I press just refresh it and I can see the demo and I can see the tables and if I want I can select a new database diagram and I can say new and it will ask me and I'll just click add and you can see that the date that all the three tables has just come up and you can just go down and see the columns and this is how the power I have used the power designer to create the demo database I hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching bye bye